YouTube world. I'm back from holiday and I'm going to break myself in gently. We're testing out these little babies from um, Hobbycraft pre-mixed pouring paints. They were just under £20 I think but I bought these about a month ago so forgive me but I can't really remember. Six in a pack. These are the Shimmer set. Um, 118ml each bottle. Nice colours. They uh, don't really say what's in them so don't say anything at all actually. They do a set of shimmer colours, that's these, and a set of I think they're primary colour primary colours. So I'm going to do a kiss pour and a swipe. Okay, got two cups and I'm going to do the pinks and the whites in one and the greens and the blue in the other. I have no idea what the consistency is like. So let's go ahead. I have given them a shake. I just noticed that it looks like it's separating a bit but I've shaken that really well. Let's see how we go. <coughs> Excuse me. I always, I think this is a bit lazy to use these because you don't learn how to, oh, don't learn how to, um, look at that, isn't that annoying? don't learn how to mix up consistency. On the other hand, if this is the right consistency, then it will give you an idea of what you've got to aim for. I would have thought. Cost-wise, I think they're quite expensive. Or are they? I'll have to work it out. As we all know, our troll is very expensive. PVA, which I use a lot of recently actually. I'm quite pleasantly surprised by the results and the cheapest. <coughs> Very runny. Oh, I don't think this is going to work. This is so not going to work. That's thicker. The white seems to be. A little bit runny than the rest. A lot of bubbles coming out of these. I'm conserving my white because I want to use it for the swipe. I can tell you, if this works, I'll be amazed. Look at all those bubbles. Can you see? And it was about an hour ago I shook them.
very shiny, but it needs a torch. Okay, so I haven't actually put a base white down. Don't like to mix um, pouring mediums. Obviously, I've only got the little bottle of white. Last time I mixed pouring mediums, when it dried, it just had cracks everywhere. So, see how we go on, shall we? I tell you, it's almost like a Dutch pool consistency. Is really bad. There's no definition. The colours are, are nice, but maybe it was the wrong technique for this consistency. Who knows? <clears throat> Let's try a swipe. Might make some nice uh, skins there. Maybe that's all it's good for. Sorry, Hobby Crop. Swipe. It's been a while since I've done a swipe. Let's give it a go. Well, I'm doing my style swipe, guys. So if you're a beginner um, and you just wanted to have a go, then by all means. But really, well and truly, I actually should have tried a Dutch pour. So this is my style swipe. Oh, where did that come from? I'm a little bit more random, I think, than most people. Um, okay. Let's see if we get any cells, shall we? No silicon, okay? And actually, when you torch it, it looks kind of blistered. That can't be good, can it? Well, I cut a load of paper towels. Ah. Okay, so paper towels sprayed with water. See how we go, shall we?
So it really does burn incredibly easily, which is no good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just <clears throat> I need to put some whites with a tiny, 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 tiny drop of silicone. There is, there is the odd kind of cell happening, but nothing that I would. consider anything to write home about. Right. I mixed this in with the green. <laughs> I used the same cup. I'm too worried. Okay, let's give this another go. Canvas. Just the wrong consistency. So I mixed my silicone in really, really well, and I used the end of this paintbrush to dip it in and mix it in. And I've got craters. Now these are the Dale and Roney canvases specifically for paint pouring. And I really, really dislike them. The edges are too sharp. So the sides always look really bad. The edges look bad. Um, they warp. <laughs> they do warp. The undersides kind of, even though they're a lot harder, underneath buckles which is no good is it so I'm gonna leave that for a little while maybe I've got enough to do a quick Dutch pour. I think I probably have actually. Okay, Dutch pour. Okay, so this is just a bit of um, board. I know it will come away from <coughs> the back, but it's just a test. And I've had it lying around for absolutely ages. So, don't think I'm going to add any water. Oh, I should have kept some of that back. That was a bit silly. Let's go with the dark blue first. Green. Light green. quite a lot of paint left in these obviously the white's all gone now might be just on the tad side for a dutch pour but we'll see see it all blisters and i really try to help hold it quite back far then <laughs>
Doesn't work for a Dutch poor either. Have you ever looked at anything so ridiculous? So. <laughs> I think that was a complete waste. Complete waste of money. Just let it dry and see what happens. Make some necklaces. Okay. So these are the nearly dried results. So this is a kiss ball. Can you see that? That I did with two tone paints with a flow troll. Lovely definition there. Lovely colours, kind of changes. So I did that probably about 18 months ago. In contrast to this, it's just like a pale kind of a, I don't know, nothingness. But if you like wispy, wispy, there's, there's, it's got a little bit of a shimmer just here. I'm trying to avoid the glare, just in the middle there. But there's no, there's no real definition in, in any of it really. Very disappointed. It's dried shiny. And the swipe, which obviously I just I've fiddled with forever. Again. It's just very weak. They're just very weak. That's better, isn't it? So, um... Hobby craft. I was in there this morning and noticed they had really big boxes of um, a whole set with pallet, plastic palette knives and things. And I think probably if you were wanting something for your children to do, it would be a good fun. Not wanting to waste expensive pouring medium, um, but I won't be buying it again. Sorry.